know, he'd like to take advantage of his spirit. Uh, there are some things that he still doesn't, you know, there's things that we put right. in that he's probably not coached up. I mean, he's only had a couple of practices. Right. So. Missing a hand, too, basically. Yeah, well, and Shante's doing, done a good job in practice, so. Um, other than that, is you know, there... running back situation is going to be kind of unique, and we're trying to kind of keep a little bit of that under the, you know, a little bit of that under the hat, just so we can. Uh, you mean beyond not... the two that everybody knows about? Well, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're, we're you know we're trying our best to kind of be coy about that. Okay. And, uh, trying to think, um, you know, I get I get asked all the time about the quarterback situation. I think Riley does a lot of things really well. Okay. And so does Nathan. So, uh, They'll both play. Is that the plan? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I haven't talked to Jeff about that, but I they both practice. They both run in things that they do, and you know that's not uncommon. Um, you said yesterday they didn't go. It was well, kind of we a were obviously we was obviously we'd miss five days. Okay. How and, about today? Uh, it was better, okay. especially at the beginning, and then they kind of ran into a little bit of uh, the monotony of it all. Okay. You know, they've probably seen these plays. This is the 14th practice. They've probably seen some of these same plays you know, at least 14 times. Okay. You know, probably, but they know, you know, they, they've done it. We've, re, we've rehearsed against UCLA um, 14 practices. We didn't take seven or eight practices and work on next year because none, none of us are going to be here. Right. So, uh, so you worked on UCLA. We're working on UCLA. So mm -hmm. and we and we worked the mess out of special teams as you guys have seen. Right. You know, it remains to be seen if we'll perform. But I, I can't imagine somebody not knowing what to do. Then today we had somebody that made a mistake. So uh, anyway, it's just uh, you know, we, we, I, considering the circumstances, I couldn't have asked for more uh, players. I told them that today and and uh, you know <coughs> obviously with the coaches. Doing everything that they got to be doing, you know, it's it's a unique situation. I, you know, I've prayed very hard for guidance and uh, we, you know some skills and leadership. And again, I couldn't uh, I couldn't have asked for more out of players. Could it be a wide open? Going to be a wide open uh, game plan for you? It, that well, I don't know. If it's a wide open game, we're probably not going to be in very good shape. Okay. Uh, you know, I think the thing that's going to be the best for us is to. Secure the ball. You know, we, I talked to them a little bit after practice. I said, "You go. You guys understand. You were ahead of the team that won the Big Ten and was going to the Rose Bowl. You were ahead of them, 14 to nothing. And then we flinched. You know, they got a good team. I take nothing against, but we flinched. We're the ones that didn't fit our gaps right. We're the ones that messed up on the punt team. We're the ones that fumbled the ball. We flinched. And now, you know, let's don't." Three days before the game, I'm starting to see some signs of some guys tightening a little bit. Let's don't, let's don't flinch. You know, good night. We, what? You couldn't have prepared harder. You couldn't have prepared better. This now it's time to do it, and, that, and that's when the champions are at the best. Is when, when it's on the line. Anybody can sit back in champagne, and you know, I think that's why Coach Zook worked so hard. He probably read that in this team, and he worked so hard to take the pressure off of them down the stretch. Uh, that's probably why, because I can see some of that even starting to happen with these guys. Did Trulon shake off some of the rust today? Well, a little bit. He was a little better today. Yeah. In the eye. He said it wasn't hurting him, and he said he's okay. So. You talk about being pretty hands-off with the offense and let Jeff kind of do his thing. And you, you described as having him develop personality as an offensive coordinator. Why is that important, do you think, for well, you to allow him to do that and for him to do that? Well, it's not fair in this situation hey. for me to Just go in there because I'm not his boss. You know, I mean, I may be semi-responsible for what happens, but I'm not his boss. His boss is Ron Zook, and I'm just trying to guide us to get through this bowl. And, um, you know, now he's a good person, and he's t we've talked about some things that that I've seen, but it, it, it isn't my place, and I, and I, I don't want to... I don't want to overstep where I don't think I belong. Now, if it was, if I was the head coach and things would have been different, we'd probably be running the wishbone out here. But uh, I'm saying that jestingly. But uh, you know, it's just you know, I just think it's important for Jeff to do what he feels because he's gonna. Everybody does better when they when they feel like it's part of theirs and when they have ownership in something. And so that's been a, a big part of it. Everybody, I've tried to get the team to take ownership in the special team. You know, Jeff taking ownership in the offense, and it's probably not fair to him because, you know, there's some things he hasn't been able to, 
to work. He doesn't have the tools he might like to have, but you know it is what it is, and I think we'll all be responsible and accountable on Saturday. How much will Trulon play? Would it be? I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. You're not gonna. He's not gonna start. No. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. He might be out there the first play. Oh, okay. But but then he might not. Just All right. Every